Go to core module system in this folder. Open page.tpl.php. From this file we will copy some parts and add them into our theme. If you take a look on comment you will see that a lot of variables are described there. For example, in variable logo there is a path to image used for our logo. Go to implementation and copy it into our TPL file. There is a condition with if statement and HTML tag A for a link. Put it into appropriate place and do adjustments. Variable front underscore page hold URLs path to home page. There is again T function for title for translatable text. We need to add our classes and ID and remove image tag because we are rendering image via CSS not with this element. Refresh page and you should see that our logo is clickable and it goes to home page. With slogan it is the same. Copy it from source template and add it into our theme. After refresh there is no slogan but you can add it in this section. Configuration, System, Site Information. Let's continue with main menu. Copy section main menu from source into our template and remove condition for secondary links because we are not using them. Coming out our static menu for now and the refresh page. We have our menu from Drupal system but it doesn't look like we want. First, remove heading. Then find array class and add there our classes instead of Drupal classes. Refresh page and you should see that menu looks like we want. It's clickable and path in address bar is changing. Our content is not showed because we need to render a region for it and we will do it in the next video. For our slider we will implement variable underscore get method to get paths from Drupal database table variable. First read all paths. Then you can check if variable is not null. Do it also for indicators. Fix path for our images in slider and if they are correct, you should see them on front page. You can debug it if it's something wrong with DSM devil function. In next video we will talk about regions and rendering Drupal content.